What's up guys? My name is Alonzo and we're here on another fun box uh, unboxing. This time I made sure that I used the right SD card because if you guys remember last time the SD card that I used to record the fun box from last month is somehow corrupted and I had to reshoot the entire unboxing again but hopefully this time it'll be a lot better uh, won't have to do or have to do any like have to deal with any reshoots or anything or you know hopefully it's all gonna be authentic and real reactions also don't mind the head I know I look like a fucking douche but trust me, I am not a douche. <laughs> I have not hit that point in my life where I'm wearing dicky shorts with knee-high socks and, and bands, uh, having like a fucking a monster hat on, uh, listening to ICP and all this other fucking new metal shit. Uh... It's not shit, I actually like new metal, but you know the typical metal militia dads that are into that stuff so no i have not hit rock bottom yet i'm just wearing it because my hair right now is kind of in a mess and this is what i use to keep it intact so yeah that i'm not a douche <laughs> all right let's go ahead and unbox this shit all right so the first thing we get is a list of contents that we have in this box apparently we have some sockadelic socks Literally, that's what it says, Sockadelic Socks. Uh, so rat cheese, skate wax, some hardware. I think I'm actually keep that because I might need some new hardware. I got some Lacorda uh, shoe, uh, shoelace belt. I might I might keep that too, I don't know. A video Kinto, whatever that means, and, some st and a sticker pack. So that's what is in here. So first off, obviously we have the, the trademarked um, black wrap that comes with any and every Funbox Monthly box. Um, so I like that. Let's open this. First thing we see is a Ghetto Child USA sticker. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little fucked up here because I don't know who packed it, but it got a little crammed. It's a little wrinkly over here. But yeah, Ghetto Child USA. Uh, I am by no means a ghetto person, a ghetto child. I do not talk like a ghetto person. I don't live in the ghetto. I live in a town next to the ghetto. And yes, my town does have some pretty ghetto spots in it, but I am by far and no means a ghetto person. Um, although I might I might keep this, I might put this on my skateboard or something. Next is a rip and dip sticker pack. It has a bunch of cats. There is one cat flipping us off. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there, this little guy right here flipping us off. What a dick. Rip and dip sticker pack. It looks like it has a bunch of cats. Uh, I don't really want to open it. I mean, I'll, hey, I guess I'll open it. Sure, fuck it, let's open it. Alright, so we got the, the cat that flipped us off. We got a sexy cat. You guys can see that. It's a little burry, but hopefully you guys can see that. We got, ooh, I like this one. A rip and dip rose sticker. I'm definitely going to keep that. That's really cool. Um, a cat behind a leaf. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's symbolism for something. Oh, we got a Bart Simpson cat. If you guys don't know who Bart Simpson is, uh, you guys need a childhood. But that is Bart Simpson. He has a trademarked hairstyle there. It's kind of cool. We got another cat flipping us off. So that's two cats that are giving us a finger. We got a smiley face, or well, I guess this would be upside down. And we, I'm going to zoom in or focus on this one. We got a cat hanging by a smiley face, which is upside down. If I turn it right side up, it won't look the same. But yeah, that's cool. I like that one, that's really cool. We got another uh, Rip and Dip sticker, pink. That's cool, Rep in the pink. You know, it's like the old saying says, real men wear pink, you know? This is cool, must be nice. I like that one. Definitely either gonna put this on somebody's wall or, or keep it or something. Uh, we got a cat who's showing a little bit of a butthole. You see that pink part right there? Yeah. That's cool. Um, it has a little Snapchat code. I don't know if you guys can see that. If you guys want to pause real quick and like capture that on your Snapchat, so you guys can go ahead and capture that on your Snapchat and uh, follow these guys. I'm definitely gonna do that. Okay, so that was cool. That was one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stickers in that in that pack. That's really cool. I like that. I like receiving sticker packs because who doesn't like stickers? I mean, come on. If you if you're a person who doesn't like stickers, you need to reevaluate your life <laughs> because stickers are life. And if you don't like stickers, then you really need to figure something out. So next we have a Boulevard. Boulevard presents Quinto. Quinto in Spanish is five or fifth. Uh, I'm assuming this is the fifth version of something. It's a DVD. It has Danny, Danny Sarazzini, Rodrigo Peterson, Carlos Equi, Tiago Limos, Daniel Lebron, and Los Boulevarders. I don't know who they are, but I'm definitely gonna check out this, this DVD whenever I get a chance. Definitely gonna keep this. Definitely a keeper. All right, next we got some Lacorda, Lacorda belt socks. I mean, Lacorda shoelace belts. I'm not, the I'm not the type of person who wears shoelaces as a belt. Um, I prefer the traditional regular leather belt. You know, the kind that you find at Kohl's or whatever. Um, I never really got into the shoelace belt fashion, but I do like how people started creating shoelace belts, like an actual belt for, you know, made by, with the shoelace. I thought, I thought that was really cool. So yeah, Lacorda and Funbox uh, shoelace belts. Only one, but that's cool. Next we got some socks, Sockadelic socks, that's what it's called. You guys can see that. Sockadelic socks. And it's a pizza. It's a lightning bolt pizza. Uh, there's two of them, they're about knee high socks. I might actually wear these. I don't know. I might actually wear these. These are, I've been looking for really cool socks. Um, I may or may not sell these. I'll see how much they are. Regular price. See if it's worth either keeping or selling. Um, I, I don't, I wear pants a lot of the times. So most of my socks are either black or white. And so it's like, you know, it's kind of pointless to have socks that have designs because no one's ever going to see your socks unless, of course, you're at a girl's house or, or a guy's house and you know you guys are getting frisky and you guys take each other's clothes off and you know you get down to your shoes you take your shoes off and you're really you're wearing like really cool schnazzy socks and your girlfriend or boyfriend are just like whoa those are some really cool socks dude so you know unless you're a girl who wears booty shorts and has really cool socks or if you're a guy who wears shorts all the time and he wears really cool socks, obviously that's worth wearing cool socks, but if you're not that type of person, then cool socks aren't really a thing for you. But yeah, <laughs> I digress a little too much. But yeah, this is cool. I like these. These are, these are really cool. Next, oh, I got another sticker. Rat Cheese Gourmet Wax. I know you guys can see that. It's a little hard to see. Definitely hard to see. But yeah, it's a little sticker, a mini sticker. Rat cheese gourmet wax. And this, it smells good. This is the wax. It's literally a block of cheese. Um, rat cheese. I watch a lot of YouTube skaters like Garrett Jenner and Braille, uh, John Hill. Those guys are really cool. They, I think they were sponsored by Gourmet Wax. And occasionally they'll open a package sent to them by them by Gourmet Wax, and the rat cheese is one of their favorites. So that's really cool. I might keep this, might not. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So next we got some plus some plus reserve hardware nuts and bolts. I may actually keep these. I'm thinking about buying a new complete or just buying a new board and uh, uh, getting some some trucks and stuff, and new wheels. But yeah, I'm definitely, I might, I might keep these. I'll see how much they are in regular, on a regular price, see if I, if I sell them or not. But yeah, let's actually open them, see what, see what it looks like. Oh, I see. Like it even comes with its own, like, its own key. Like that's the Allen key right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's really, that's the Allen key. And this is your crosshead. Yeah, it's really hard to see, but you know what I mean. That's cool. Uh, this might be a little hard because it's such a small thing, you might lose it real easily. And you got a little screws, that's cool. That's pretty much it. Just a bunch of screws, nuts and bolts. Alright, so this is the last thing, well the last couple things in this box are some coupons. Um, we all like saving, right? Here is a 20% off coupon for Gourmet Wax. Uh, just go to that website, ratcheesewax.com. Use the 20% off code, and the code is right there. If you guys can't see it, I will put it up on the screen right now. 
and I will also put it in the description down below along with the website where you guys can go and redeem this code. I am more than likely not going to use the code so that is why I am showing you guys. So please 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 go ahead and take advantage of that code. It's 20% off. It's not bad. It's really not bad. It's way better than 10%. And Ghetto Child USA is also giving us a coupon for 30% off. That is an even better deal, dude. It is great. Uh, it says, as an extra bonus with your subscription, Child Ghetto Child is hooking you up with a discount. Use coupon coupon code Funbox Monthly 17 to redeem it and receive 30% off your next order at GhettoChild.com. Valid until 9:30 17. So you guys have until until what September you guys have until September to redeem this code I don't know if you guys can see that but I will also put this I'll put that code in the screen right now if you guys can't see it and I will put the website wherever it is to redeem this code down in the description so you guys can go ahead and redeem it's 30% off guys 30% off get a child I'm assuming it's a, a, apparel like clothing and stuff or, or other things definitely take advantage of this I, I would if I if I was a skater <laughs> so yeah that's about it guys that's uh, that's this that's this month's uh, fun box monthly I really really hope you guys love this series it's it's a really good series for me it's doing very well I can see you guys really like it and getting lots of views um, please go ahead and check out the other two videos that I made. I will link them in the description. I'll also have them here in the screen. And I will cue a over dramatic uh, montage of all this stuff <laughs> uh, in a couple minutes or a couple seconds. So yeah, that's it for today guys. Please like, subscribe for more. Go ahead and buy yourself a Funbox Monthly. They're not that expensive. They're $25 a month for just a small box like this that will be sent to your home every month. It'll end up in your mailbox. Definitely worth it because I'll let you guys in a little secret. For the stuff that I get, I sell it on, I sell it on eBay. I make my money back so I don't have to worry about, you know, if I'm ever going to spend too much money buying or doing the monthly subscription for, for Funbox Monthly. If you guys are not going to use anything in in this box, go ahead and sell it or give it away. You know, if, if you know somebody who's a true skater or who likes all this stuff, give it to them. If you don't, go ahead and sell it. It's definitely worth it. I've already sold a couple things from the other two boxes. What I like about this menu, this little menu thing, is that it gives you the original price, like for these socks, ten dollars retail. Uh, the rat cheese, six dollars retail. The the hardware, seven dollars retail. The the Lacorda shoelace belts is ten dollars. It's You've already made all your money back with just those four items. So definitely, it's definitely worth selling selling this stuff on eBay. And don't get me wrong, if the people at Funbox are watching this, I truly appreciate what um, what you guys send. Obviously, I'm paying you guys uh, $25 a month to send me this stuff, so I'm pretty sure you guys don't care what I do with it after you guys send it out to me. But, you know, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank, I like to thank Funbox for sending me this stuff. I'm not sponsored, unfortunately. Um, if any of you guys want to sponsor me, that'd be really cool. Uh, but I'm not sponsored and not paying me to say this. It's just, I'm doing it on my own free will because I really, truly appreciate what Funbox is doing. And I find out that there are a lot of other skateboard companies that are, that are doing the same. Primitive is doing the same thing. Primitive is owned by P-Rod, Paul Rodriguez. If you guys don't know him, he's he is a legend. He's one of the. He's. I grew up watching his stuff. He's one of my favorite skaters, and he has his own company, Primitive Skateboards, who are doing the same thing. Unfortunately, their 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 monthly subscription box is fifty dollars more. It's like seventy five bucks, but the stuff that they send out is totally worth it. They send out wheels. They send out hardware. They send out new decks all the time. So $75 is definitely worth it. I'm not gonna go ahead and spend that much money because I don't have that much money. I don't feel comfortable spending that much a month just, you know, for skateboard stuff. It's definitely worth it, but I, at this point right now, I'm not comfortable doing that. Maybe hopefully someday in the future. But yeah, definitely take advantage of Funbox Monthly. It is affordable if you guys have jobs. Definitely affordable. Go ahead and do it. I will leave a link. I'll put it here on the screen and also in the description down below so you guys can go check it out. That's all for today, guys. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and cue the montage.